find phi of minus 0 0.176 we have to find its value for that first we should remove this negative sign to remove the negative sign we should do 1 minus 0 0.176 Whenever we do 1 minus, the negative will change into positive. It is a rule. Now, we will get this value from this table. To get this value, first you take these two numbers. That is 0 0.1. Now you look for 0 0.1 in this column. We have 0 0.1 here. Now the next decimal is 7. So in this row, at number 7 I have the value this one that is 0 0.5675 now next decimal is 6 so in the same row you look for 6 at 6 the number present is 24 so now you should add 24 to the last digits so here it is 9965. So we get 0 0.5699. Okay. Now 1 minus this is our answer. So let us subtract. So 1.0005699. So 0, 9, 9, 9, 10. Here it is 1, 0, 3, 4. So we get 0 0.4301. This is our answer to this one. Okay. Next. Phi of minus 0 0.152. To find this value first I should remove the negative sign. To remove the negative sign I should do 1 minus. Whenever you do 1 minus the negative will change into positive. It is a rule. Now, 1 minus. This value I will get from this table. To get this value, first you take these two numbers. That is 0 0.1. Now you look for 0 0.1 in the first column. That is here. Now the next decimal is 5. So in the same row, at number 5, I have this value. That is 0 0.5596. Okay. Now, next decimal is 2. So, in the same row, at number 2, I have the number 8. So, now you add 8 to the last digit. So, we get 40165. So we get 0 0.5604. So 1 minus this is our answer. So let us subtract. So 1.000.5604. So here it is 0. Now 6, 9, 3, 4. We get 0 0.4396. So this is our answer to this one. Okay, next. Phi of minus 0 0.273. To find this value, first we should remove the negative sign. To remove the negative sign, we should do 1 minus. Whenever we do 1 minus, the negative will change into positive. It is a rule. Now, 1 minus. This value we will get from the table. To get this value, first you take these two numbers, that is 0 0.2. Now you look for 0 0.2 in the first column, that is here. Now the next decimal is 7. So in this row, at number 7, I have this value, that is 0 0.6064. Okay, now next decimal is 3. So in the same row, for number 3, I have the number 12 present. So now you add 12 to the last digits. So we get 6706. 
so we got 6076 now 1 minus this is our answer so let us subtract so 1.000.6076 so 0, 9, 9, 9, 10. Here it is 4, 2, 9, 3. So we get 0 0.3924. This is the answer for this one. Okay. Am I clear?